Diddy's legal team is preparing for another bombshell lawsuit involving his son, Christian Combs, who is accused of SA and giving supplies to women so they pass out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Sean Diddy Combs is currently fighting several SA lawsuits. The recent $30 million suit from music producer Rodney Little Rod Jones ushered in multiple new claims against Diddy, including allegations his son, Justin Combs, helped recruit underage girls for the music mogul. Justin Combs has since denied those allegations via a statement from his attorney that said, quote, Justin Combs categorically denies these absurd allegations. They are all lies. This is a clear example of a desperate person taking desperate measures in hopes of a payday. There will be legal consequences for all defamatory statements made about the Combs family. But unfortunately for the record executive, Another one of his children is reportedly about to be hit with serious allegations of his own. Earlier today, on April 2nd, a report surfaced that Christian King Combs will be named in a lawsuit that accuses him of SA and putting women to sleep using supplies. Like his dad, Diddy. The alleged women's attorney, Tyrone Blackburn, exclusively confirmed the lawsuit is real and Diddy is quote, aware of it, end quote. Blackburn added, quote, I provided Sean Combs' attorney, Sean Holy and Jonathan Davis with a photo of my client's injuries. All of this will be in the filing. We are finalizing it and it will be filed within the coming weeks, end quote. The identity of the woman has yet to be revealed. No word just yet on how the rising rapper feels about the looming suit. However, he did recently share a Snapchat that read, quote, stop with the cap. Meanwhile, the mother of one of Diddy's sons, Justin Combs, just shared never before seen footage from the LA raid. And she's tearing the feds a new one for storming in the way they did. Misa Hilton posted shocking surveillance footage from the dramatic event Monday, when Homeland Security agents busted through the front door of Diddy's Holmby Hills mansion with guns out and massive military style vehicles in tow. All this to execute a search warrant. You can see squadrons of agents swarming the premises in a methodical coordinated fashion and eventually they intercept Justin and King Combs in the hallway with their guns raised as they bark commands at them and eventually escort them out of the house. Misa is furious over what she calls a clear and out of bounds show of force, which she characterizes as more than excessive. She writes, quote, the overzealous and overly militarized force used against my son and his brother Christian, who I consider a second son, is deplorable. Those agents knew Puff wasn't in the home. Did Justin need several laser beam gun sights pointed at his chest? Did Christian need a high powered assault rifle pointed at the back of his head from inches away while he was handcuffed? End quote. Misa goes on to say she can't believe her boys were mere seconds away from potentially losing their lives during this ordeal, noting countless other unarmed black men don't often survive these types of situations. She says Justin's got a lawyer and they're looking into their legal options. Meanwhile, in a resurfaced clip, Machine Gun Kelly tells a story about dancing with no clothes outside Diddy's window after smoking a mysterious supply given to him by Diddy. I had smoked something that Puff had gave me and it was like, it was as if I, I had partied like three nights straight. It was, <laughs> yeah. it was the craziest. <laughs> have, you, have you seen Get Him to the Greek? The movie. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. You remember yeah. the Jeffrey scene? Just smoke the here. Here's a Jeffrey. Oh yeah. And like it's supposedly like all the things mixed in one. Yeah. That's, that's what you had. I swear. I swear. That's I, that had to be what it and is. And who gave it? Did he gave this to you? Yeah, who gave yeah. this? So you you call him Puff. You call him. Yeah. Uh, I call him Puff. All right. I don't know what to call the guy. He changes his name. Every, you know, like once a year or whatever. Mm -hmm. So, so he gave you this. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, he'll, he'll look out. Like I, I was just like I'm about to go to the airport. You know, I need something that'll knock me out. I mean, it, it totally did the opposite. It was I was I, I did <laughs> I was doing crazy dance moves to the weirdest music for 20 minutes straight like out like while he was on the phone and I was just outside the window looking in while he was looking at me like man this guy's this tripping. Kid's nuts like, you know <laughs> I mean? but the funniest part was he was like he was like all right man he was like 
Oh, I, okay. So this is this, so the thing when I, I said, do you have you know? Can I can I get some? Do you have any whatever? And uh, I just wanted something to go to the airport, you know, just to, to last me so I can knock out on this flight. And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm having my guy. So he goes down, comes back up with his stuff, and the guy shows puff. And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to give him like the. He said the Snoop Doggy Dog is what he said he's trying to give me. So I was like, Oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I want, yeah, yeah. What is that? What's up with yeah, that? Where's that? Sounds, sounds good. Whatever right. the hell that yeah, is. I'm like, where is that? So, <laughs> long story short, he gra- he finally finds it and he's like, Oh, here you go. He's like, Now, the, now my guy said take four like four hits and like stop. All right. You know, like, and we didn't. You know, I just kept going. So, yeah, and so like he was like he was like come back up in five minutes. And I mean, when I tell you, I came back up in five minutes and like had a had a result for him. Like you know what I mean? Like if it was. <laughs> It was crazy. Now, does he does he smoke any of this, or is he nah, too nah, reserved? I have, I have no idea. I mean, he didn't smoke it with you, so nah, it wasn't nah, like nah, you nah. and P Diddy nah, uh, nah, nah. smoking together. He nope. just sends you down, and then he's on the phone running his empire. Yeah, and yeah. you're dancing naked <laughs> outside <laughs> of his window. His window like <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you guys think was in it? Sound off in the comments below. Meanwhile, Charlemagne is getting backlash for saying he doesn't like seeing Diddy's legacy get burned to the ground. <laughs> I just don't like it. I mean, I don't, I don't like it just because it's sad. Like, you know, how many how many people's legacies have we watched burn to the ground? You know, from the Russell Simmons, from, you know, But it's Diddy. good that they burned to the yeah. ground if they did f- Sure, but it's... You, 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 You're so, still sad so it's that just they one emotion? Like, y'all all lying to yourself if y'all saying, yeah, good for them, f- them. These guys f***ing provided the soundtrack to our lives. They contributed to culture in real ways. Before we knew any of this sh- from the Harvey Weinsteins to whoever, we all were inspired by them if you were in entertainment because you wanted to build what they built. They have a room with six You're a liar. Guys. Who do you love? Who do you love, Taylor? With Who do you like? Right. Just in general. Who inspires you? Megan Thee Stallion. Who? Issa Rae. So if, 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 God, if God forbid some bull like this, you find out Issa Rae was in this I'll that be- wouldn't hurt your feelings? I'm not saying it wouldn't hurt. Okay then, so I don't but, know why. So that's why I don't understand when people are so quick to be like, no, f- that. You, no, yeah, you have yeah. feelings, you have mixed after emotions. That, after that whole Cassie thing, you don't know what triggered that from other people though. Like say someone else had that. I understand thing. all of that. I'm yeah. taking all of that into consideration. I'm taking the victims into consideration. I'm taking what's going on with them in the, uh, the, the just video and all them. about the whole it's situation. It's mixed emotions. That, it's like OJ. Yeah. No, I never felt like that about OJ. Wait, what? I mean, I didn't grow up on OJ though, so I mean, I didn't feel like that. Oh yeah, me neither. Yeah, I didn't grow up. So I didn't feel like that. It's not OJ. It's like Harvey Weinstein. Like you saw Shakespeare in Love, and you're like, this guy, wow, he made this movie. To me, it's like Bill Cosby. That's another uh, one. That's another uh, one. Bill Cosby. Yes. Bill Cosby hurt my feelings. This user writes: This is how misogyny works. Diddy targeted Cassie, is being investigated for trafficking, is a menace to women and men, but this guy is more sad about a man's legacy than the people he terrorized. And that is a really good point. (laughs) What do you guys think about all this? Sound off in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe by hitting my face here. 